Okay, we're going to take a look at an app called Number Bonds, and uh, this one works on addition and subtraction. And if you look down here, you can also get one that works on multiplication and division. And uh, it covers numbers 0 to 99. So when you open this app up, you get four options Pond Bonds, Bird Bonds, which number, and which bond. So let's run you through these. Pond Bonds to start with. Uh, brings up the option screen so you can choose uh, this only gives you 0 to 10 uh, you can alter this number uh, you can put the timer on and adjust how long you want them to work on it uh, 15 seconds to 5 minutes um, just by sliding this up and down you can turn the timer off if you leave the timer on you can have multiple players from 1 to 4 if you turn it off then you're just basically practicing and working on those skills for this demonstration we're just going to turn it off so I can show you how it works let's kick, click play and the idea with number bonds uh, is basically to find the missing number um, either by finding what you add to this number or subtract from this number to create this here. And you basically drag the frog in to the space and you check your answer and you'll go on to the next level. Now this only works from 0 to 10, so it's kind of the beginner level, but it's fun for them to play with. If you go back out and click on the pause you can go back to the menu and let's go ahead and look at the birds which go from 0 to 20. And again same concept works exactly the same way just a little bit different. Move on to the next one. see the largest circle is the target number okay go back to the main menu and let's go ahead and look at the next one which is which number now this works from 0 to 99 so you can make this as easy or as hard as you like uh, Benjamin is still working on uh, pretty much the first 15 um, numbers but we'll leave this on something a little easier because I'm not that good at math. Um, so let's go ahead and have a look at this and basically you get a selection of numbers and you have to drag them over here um, either by like I said subtracting 4 from 11 or finding something that adds to 4 to make 11. Actually you just touch the number and you move on to the next one and the same here so 1 plus 1 would equal 2, 2 minus 1 one and so on. Now on the final one, actually I'm going to go back to the menu and show you very quickly if we look at this one again, we're going to leave the timer on and put it onto two players and player one gets to go and then because we've left this on the 0 to 99 you see different options and you have to find the problem here. If you look up here you can see the time is going down so as we progress once you click on to the next one the time will uh, deteriorate and it stops every time you answer until you press next so the faster you answer the more chances you have of getting them correct. Once that time runs out it says time's up and it goes on to the next player and then player two will go and so on until again the time runs out on this section and I'll show you what happens once the time runs out all players scores and then it shows one first player and second player and the score they got you can play again and start over if you like and we'll go back so let's go back to the final section which is which bond and we'll turn the timer off just for demonstration and you basically have to figure out which one this belongs to so does it belong to this one or does it belong to this one and you click on the question mark and then it goes to that area there again we've got this from 0 to 99 you can change it simply by going back to the options in here and make it a little bit easier if you want to which is good for me and then you have the same
thing here. So that's what it's all about. Very simple, very easy to use. Um, but this is what Benjamin is using right now and uh, it seems to work very well. And I highly recommend it. It's called Number Bonds. So check it out.